So we're still doing those rational expressions, right? The polynomials inside the fractions. What we're doing this time is we're going to add, sorry, we're going to multiply and divide two or more, or just two, rational expressions. So here we've got a rational expression, okay, polynomials inside a fraction times another one. Rational expression times a rational expression. So we're doing this and simplifying them. So let's try this first one here. X minus 4, so we factor and just cancel like before. X minus 4 over X cubed plus 8, that is X cubed plus 2 cubed. So that's that cubic uh, factorization that we can do. A plus B times A squared minus AB plus B squared. And this can be written as a fraction, just do it. Uh, think of this as itself over 1, all right, but can that be factored? Uh, x squared minus 2x plus 4. We need two numbers that multiply to give 4, add to give negative 2. Uh, nothing. x squared minus 2x plus 4. Hmm. Oh, but look, right, these two can cancel. So remember when there's a multiplication sign in the middle, you can cancel diagonally. If there's an equal sign in the middle, you can't. All right, when there's a multiplication sign in the middle, you can cancel diagonally, which gives x minus 4 over x plus 2. Stop, okay? The x's don't cancel, we stop there. Remember, we only cancel factors, not terms. B, do the same thing. Let's factor this up here. Just a common factor on top, we can take out a 2, and we can also take out an x. What goes inside? Just think backwards. 2x times what gives this? x. 2x times what gives this? Minus 5. The bottom, that's a squared minus b squared, so that's going to factor 2, x plus 5 times x minus 5. Big fat dot is multiplication, I don't like it, I always like that. x plus 3 over 2x squared. So what can we cancel here? We can cancel vertically or diagonally. We can cancel out a 2, uh, we can cancel out an x minus 5, and we've got x times x here. That will cancel with the x. It will leave us with 1x on the bottom. Final answer here is going to be x plus 3 over, and on the bottom, x plus 5, and the x is still there. x, x plus 5. We usually leave the bottom factored if possible. Okay, I just dropped my marker then. Did you hear that? All right, so there's a and b. Okay, let's move on to a couple more. So we're going to try division this time. Division, how do we divide fractions? Uh, well, I'm going to do it in one step here. What we do with uh, division is we turn the division symbol into a multiplication symbol and turn it upside down. So this x squared minus 100 is going to go on top, and we can factor that. It's going to become x plus 10 times x minus 10. All right, a squared minus b squared factors to a plus b times a minus b. This will go on the bottom. Can that be factored? Two numbers that multiply to give 70 and have a difference of 3. Ah, 7 and 10. So x, 7 x, 10. Add to give plus 3, so it's going to be plus 10 minus 7. And over here, this does not flip. Okay, On the bottom, we can just take out a 5. x plus 3. And on the top, what can we factor there? Two numbers that multiply to give negative 21, add to give negative 4. 7 and 3. x, 7, x, 3. Add to give negative 4, so negative 7 plus 3. All right, can we cancel anything? Yes, x plus 3, x plus 3. We've got a multiplication in the middle, so we can also cancel diagonally x minus 7, x minus 7. What else? Ah, x plus 10, x plus 10. That is it. So we're left with x minus 10 over 5. Stop. There's our answer. Okay, the 10 and the 5 do not cancel. Stop. That's it. Let's just try one last one, b again. So we're dividing here, uh, let's factor this, so 6x squared that just stays, can we factor the top? Uh, this is one of those annoying ones where this is not a 1, so we've got to do the cross method, 3x, x, factors of 10, 2 and 5, 3, 5 is a 15x, 2x, 2x, oh I got lucky. And these have to add to give 13x, is that possible? Yes, we want a plus and a minus. So we need the minus 2x, so there's going to be a minus here. We want plus 15x, so there's going to be a plus here. Final check just to make sure this works. That times that equals that. Yes. That times that equals that. Yes. Looks like it's good. 3x minus 2. And x plus 5. 
All right, and I'm going to need this space. I'm just going to erase that. Don't erase your working now. I'm only doing it because I need the board space. Multiply by, so this is like over 1, right? Since division tends to multiply, we flip this. It's going to be 1 over. And let's factor that. We can take out an x. That's all we can take out. Equals. All right. Let's do some cancelling. Uh, 3x minus 2 cancels with 3x minus 2. And that, I believe, is it. So x plus 5 on the top. On the bottom, 6x squared times x is going to be 6x cubed. Stop. That is it.